Hi there. This is a Drake TX4B transmitter that I've bought from eBay, and I'm trying to understand how and if it works. The guy that I bought it from said it did not work, so I pulled the uh, finals out of it. You can see the finals are there on the floor. And I have it in uh, tune position. And anyway, what I want to do is, the way this works, it has a VFO right here. It has some injection crystals for each of its bands, which are all right here. And it has a mixer tube right about there. So I'm sniffing the mixer to see. And the first thing you want to do to see if this works is make sure the VFO works. So the VFO is around 5 megahertz. So what I've done, i got a receiver here around 5 megahertz, and I have this little piece of Macintosh charger wire as an antenna, and that's kind of going over toward the uh, transmitter here. So as you can hear, i got a tone here on I have the BFO and this receiver on, and I can hear a tone here, and sure enough. So that's the BFO oscillator. We know that's working. And now we can check each crystal. So these crystals in here, they go to a crystal oscillator. So you can see the crystals in here in the uh, Drake TX4B. And if you know what the frequency of these crystals, you can see the first one there is 14.6, the second one is like 18.1, the third one is 25, and the fourth and fifth are too high for my receiver, 37 and 39. But I can definitely go on to that 14.6 and see what's working. So all this stuff has to work if you want to get a signal out of it. And what's funny about this TX4B is the way the band change works, it has a a 90 degree gear in here which is really aggravating and there's some slop and play in this thing and when I was looking at how this wafer switch moved for the crystals it just seemed really sloppy so I mean we're talking like 1965 or 70 here old radio but I don't know I guess it's good enough so let's take a look at the um, the 14.6 and for that I'm gonna go here to the 3.5 segment or 80 meters and that thing is on 14.6 I think yep let's set this radio to 14.6 14.6 is right about there and it's banned okay so that is SW2, SW2, we got that there. Let's try it out. Let's put a 14.6. There's something there. Yep, that's it. So you can tell when I change crystals, it goes off. So we know that crystal's working and and I put my finger on here, it gets stronger. Okay, next one. Next one is going to be... Is it 18.1? Let me look, take a look at my eyes here and see it. It's uh, 18.1. So let's take a look for 18.1. 18.1. Well, my receiver's off, I guess, but there's the crystal, or the crystal's off. Okay. Yep, that's 18.1. The next one here is gonna be, let's see, 25, 25.1.
So that's good. So, so we know that these crystals work for the injection. We know the BFO is working. I think there's also like a five point something killer. It's oscillator in here that does something else. But anyway, now let's see if we actually can can work this thing on a frequency. So I'm gonna go to forty meters right there. So now we're setting a forty meter band. I'm gonna put this radio on forty meters here. I think that's it. SW two right about there. And for that, we want to put this wire, I think it's called V3 in here. This is a V3 mixing tube. So I want to go to this um, mixing tube here. Put the wire near the mixing tube. Easier said than done. Well, let's apply it without the wire by the mixing tube and see if we can pick it up. And we're in tune position here, I think. Yep, we're in tune. Let's see if we get it. Is that it? Nope. Okay, we're on the correct band here, number two. Yep. I guess the wire has to be right smack on top of the mixing tube. We're on 40 meters here. Okay, there's the mixer tube there. Oh, I hear it now, I think. All right, in by the mixing tube here, right against it. You can see this is not a great setup here. hearing it. What about 80 meters? Oh, okay, here's why it doesn't work. Because this is very sensitive, so this pre-selector here has to be right smack on 40, or you get nothing. So I'm still learning this transmitter, but let's go here to 40 meters. There's 40 right there. So you can see the 40 meters mark on here. Right about there. We're on 40 meters here on 7.0. So we should hear it now. Yep, there it is. So, there's our signal. So there's a good chance this transmitter does work. I didn't want to blow the finals up by having no drive. And let's tune this for max. So you can see how this is very sensitive tuning on 40 here. All right, let's try 80 meters, 3.5. 3.5, move this thing down to 80. Get close to 80 here. Okay, there's 80. Put this on 80 meters. Somewhere around here. Let's see it. Maybe right there. Well, that's no fun. I'm on the right band. This is on 80. Yeah, we're on 80 here. My sliding is terrible. Okay, yep, yeah, we're on 80 here. And we'll tune this again to 80.
I don't hear any. Let's try 20 meters. Okay, there's 14 right there. Take this to 20 meters. There's 20 right there. It's 20 meters. Take this thing to 14. There it is, right there. Let's peek it up. So 20 is working. Let's try 15. Here's 15 meters. That's 21 megacycles. About there. Take this thing to 15 here. Yeah, 15 wasn't very strong. Is that? Oh, anyway, this might be a way to uh, make sure your TX4B is working correctly. I can't hear 15, but I can hear um, 20, and I can hear I can hear 40. I couldn't hear 80, and I did hear 80 before. Let's go back to 80 here. There's 80. Go back to 80. Take this back to 80. Thing. I'm still on tune here. Let's see. Separate. I'm on tune still. Okay, well, this isn't very useful from here on in. This might be a way with a very primitive shortwave radio and a very primitive antenna to be able to see if your transmitter, your TX4B, is uh, at least working right. See if the crystals are running. We verify the VFO runs. We verify the crystals work on, on most bands here. We verify the mixer that's going to the final um, is working on some bands. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.